And a Final Four officiating crew as well. Ray Steins, Roger Ayers, Mike Eads, and we are ready to roll here in Durham. Back line of that zone and a little bit more rebounding. Duke a much bigger team, especially in the front court than Carolina, and Wendell Carter Jr. strikes early. Some great basketball lately for the Tar Heels, misses the jumper. Allen with the drive, hangs and hits. Last six games has been reduced by about seven per game. They're positioned to run, and they have to look to run more often. Great pass by Joel Berry on the drive. Berry off to Luke May, who's having a sensational year. And close to us this much. But 90% of their possessions since the last Carolina game have been zone defense. Corner three, Kenny Williams. Guard in basketball is one-on-one -on -one in the post. And North Carolina electing to go one-on-one -on -one and just stay big. Barry with a long two, and the Carolina lead stretches to three. As many different teammates as Grayson Allen has had. It's really incredible. Trevon Duval with a steal, and the finish, and the foul. I think that's like 25 charges or so that Kenny Williams taken. That's a, the most by far. Garrison Brooks into the game for Carolina with a rebound, but then got rejected. Possession for the Blue Devils. Great fake. And a three. Great rebound by Carter. The kick to O'Connell. The freshman Alex O'Connell knocked down three threes in the game against Carolina back at the Dean Dome. The answer to the other end for Cameron Johnson. Point shooter, so instead of going to the ball, you have to go to shooters. Once it's inside that three-point line, the twos aren't going to hurt you. The threes are. Step back jumper, Gary Trent Jr. Just two. Yeah, May 6'8", but he's given up size to both Carter and Bolden. Now Carolina with a chance to run, something they love to do, and Johnson will slam it home. Coming to the point for the most part, they feel they're kind of still evolving and still improving as they head into the postseason. Another great interior feed as Pinson finds Brooks. Well, the play has been outstanding, averaging over 10 points per game, shooting well from the perimeter. He drew Wendell Carter up. And anytime you help up, you better get a rotation over. And Marvin Bagley, nowhere to be seen. So Duke's got to attack, try to get into the paint, and they'll be shooting free throws the rest of the half. Bagley gets a touch. For this game, they're going to ask whether you won or lost this one. Carolina won the first one. Feb 8 in Chapel Hill. Great steal by Grayson Allen. I didn't travel, couldn't finish, and May has it for the heels. Pinson with a crossover and a finish. Nicely done that other conferences don't get a chance to get so devil's advocate how do you how do you maintain the relevance of power conference tournaments Carolina back on top big lead change in this game Trent turnaround ties it up ahead Arizona and seemingly Arizona State safely in the field but beyond that it's anybody's guess Carolina is a tough team to beat. They're different than they've been, but they're tough to deal with. Bolden, the catch and the finish. It's offensively powerful inside. A good look for Kenny Williams. And wow. Henson with a remarkable follow. And after making only five of 35 prior to that. I just don't like how uptight he is before <laughs> games. Barry with a block from behind. One thing Duke's got to do is start hitting free throws. They are missing a ton of free throws in this game. Four out of 12 right now. Pinson again. Most of Duke's shots have been challenged twos. Good fake. Allen with a runner. Got it. Trying to guard Joel Barry. Five seconds. Good pass. And Williams with a nice look. Barry the assist. Make an outlet the same as if you're playing a man. There's no reason you can't. Let's remember Bagley, Carter, and Allen all have two fouls. Bagley shuttle pass into Javin Deloria. Barry now one for 11 from beyond the arc. He has really struggled his last three games. Barry with a pull up and rattles it home to restore the 10 point advantage. Now keeping that double digit lead. They've got to go into Bagley. He's being guarded by Pinson. They'll try here. Williams with the help. Not enough. On Wendell Carter and Marvin Bagley the third in the lane. So three minutes into the second half, Carolina still leads by 10 and to make it 13. 
Carolina Bench wanted a push off there on Allen. They don't get the call. Carter. On the road, presented by Travelocity, Carolina 36 and 44. All time here at Cameron Indoor Stadium. The most wins by any opponent. Good ball movement against the zone. A great fake. And Williams knocks down the 16-footer. Duval back into the game for Duke. Finds Carter. They double him. Duval's open and knocks down the three. Brooks got it. Big bucket for the Tar Heels to stem the tie. Allen uses the screen, knocks down the three. Duval, Bagley! Seven words rejected by Marquise Bolden. And Grayson Allen will pull up and take that shot from behind the screen. Good pass into the middle. And that will quiet the Middle East for the moment. Way deep from Johnson. Offensive rebound, Brooks. Nice pass to May. Follows it up and makes it count. Rush shot by Joel Berry. Not in rhythm. Well, Carter was wide open. Bagley for three. Williams could ask for. Bagley just trying to take over right now. Still in the game. Trent. Duke leads. Arm, so does Gary Trent. And they, this, this zone can be very wide. Pinson up and in to tie the game. Well, Allen was wide open. Set a back screen for Marvin Bagley. That's what got him open. Johnson for three, Carolina back on top. Uh, the pass. opposite of the way the programs historically have been. Exactly. There go the parallel universe. <laughs> I should listen the first time. <laughs> Boy, a great shooter just sees one go in. And maybe the same applies to Kenny Williams. Carter down with a rebound. Or North Carolina getting open shots. That's just not knocking them down. Allen knocks it down, and the Blue Devils are back on top. Barry's open, wow. and it's blocked by Duval. Pinson with a chance for a three-point play. I think Duke needs to drive the ball, get it into the paint. They've got an advantage in the foul situation. They can get to the free throw line. Duval drives it, banks it home. Bagley still being guarded by Pinson. There's the cross screen, down screen action. Pinson fronting him. Instead, it's Trent. Had a missed free throw from the first half to the second half for Duke offensively. 31% to 58%. And one made three in the first half. Seven. Second half as an offensive team. Good split of that double. And a great pass. Duval to Bagley. Carolina really needs a couple of stops. Vincent helps off Bagley. Carter's open for three. Wow. That's his 19th three of the season. And Wendell Carter Jr. just scratching the surface of how good he's going to be. Duke will run the clock down. It's at seven. Duval over the top to Bagley again. Freshman. Trevon Duval, his penetration and passing, and Marvin Bagley. What is that, 21 for him now? Just right over the top of the North Carolina defense. And then right over. And the Blue Devils, with a great second half, will even up the season series with the Tar Heels at one apiece. And who knows, maybe they'll meet again next week in Brooklyn.